what is up everyone this is somnath gaudar from future coders in this video tutorial we are going to be building this counter app using html css and javascript this is going to be a very beginner friendly project which you can use to practice your javascript skills all right let's see what we are going to be building as you can see if i click on this uh, add button as you can see the value increases and color turns to green and if I keep on increasing as you can see it's going to increase and if I keep on reducing by clicking on the subtract uh, icon as you can see and when I switch to uh, negative values it's going to turn to right and if I click on this reset it's going to reset the value again incrementing the value decrementing the value and re resetting the value all right this is what you will be learning in this video you are going to learn about how to build this using javascript all right if you are new to this channel please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video i make videos on front end development and i also uh, do javascript projects so please make sure you subscribe to my channel all right let's start building this <laughs> All right guys, let's start building this. I'll be using icons from the font awesome. So I'll be just importing that CDN link. If you don't know how to import, first let's head over to cdnjs.com and search here for font awesome. All you have to do is copy this link tag and paste it over here. That's it. Another thing which I'll be using is uh, custom font from the Google fonts as you can see I am using pop-ins with these weights from 100 to 900 weights if you don't know how to import all you have to do is search for fonts.google.com and search here for pop-ins and click here all you have to do is import all of these uh, weights and all to do is click on this it will get imported and it will be added over here all to do is click on this as you can see the, you will get this kind of interface and click on import and you can import this code and paste it over here that's it all right now let's start building it first i will be completing my html part inside the body i'm going to create a container inside this container i'm going to create our counter First, I am going to have a paragraph with an ID of count. This is going to contain the value of count. Initially, it's going to be zero. All right, I have set it to zero. And next, we are going to have some buttons inside the buttons container. Here, I will define the first button. Button with an ID of subtract. This is going to have an ID of subtract. That means if I click on this, it's going to reduce the count by one. All right, inside this, I'm going to use an icon. So let's define that i with the class name of FAS and FA minus. It's going to be this icon. Let's see. As you can see, there we have our icon from the font. Awesome. Similarly, we are going to have two more buttons. The second button is going to say reset. This is the button which is going to set the value to zero. It is going to reset. So it's not going to have any icon. So here I will say a reset. Next thing. Uh, the id is going to be add the class fas and fa add all right as you can see there we have our completed markup now let's head over to css and style it for the css let's uh, actually clear out the default margin and padding being applied by the browser by saying margin zero padding zero box sizing to border box now let's add the font family which we imported that is pop-ins and a fallback font of sans serif again i will also set a transition of all to everything 0.2 seconds linear let's also set border to none since we are using these buttons so we are not going to have any border and outline to none all right now let's target the body for the body i will set a background color to this little bit grayish color next i will target the container which is containing the counter 
counter container for the container here I will set the height of 100 view height viewport height display of flex align items to the center justify content to the center all right now we have centered our container inside the uh, container we have the counter right so let's target that for the counter here I will set background right over here I will set a background color of white uh, padding all around to 2.5 rem border radius of let's say 1 rem also a box shadow of RGBA value of red value of 100 green value to 100 blue value to 111 and an alpha value of 0.2 0 pixels, 7 pixels, and we are also going to have 29 pixels and 0 pixels. That's it. There we have our box shadow. Right after box shadow, let's target the paragraph inside the counter. We have the paragraph. So for the paragraph, I will say text align to center to make it align center. I will set the font size to 10 rem to make it big let's reduce the font weight to 300 and the line height to 1 that's it next uh, right after the paragraph we have these button container right so let's target our buttons container inside the container we have the buttons for the buttons here i will say text align to center margin let's add a margin top of 2 rm that's it now let's target each and individual but button by saying buttons and button for the button i will say font size of 1.5 rm to make it big padding inside 0.5 rm to the top and bottom and 1 rm to the left and right there we go Let's also add some margin all around to 0.5 rem. That's it. And cursor to pointer. So when I hover on it, the cursor turns to pointer. That's it. Now I want a separate styling for this minus icon. So I can do that by saying the button which is containing this ID over here, sub ID for the, the for that I will set background color to this orange red as you can see. Uh, color of white that's it similarly i'll also do the same for the add icon for the button which is containing an id of add i will change the background color to the green and color to white all right that's it as you can see there we have our front end guys now it's time to work on javascript all right let's head over to javascript first thing which I'll be doing is I'll be uh, importing all the DOM elements which I need so I'm going to need the count value I'm going to need these three buttons right when I click on these the count I need to change the count value right so first inside JavaScript I will create a const a variable and a count variable I will add document dot get element by ID I'll get that element by ID as you can see I have given an ID of count right so here I will say count now I have access to that count value count element next uh, similarly I will also add a add variable and I will get the element by ID as you can see I have given an add, add button an ID of add so I'll just do that let's change this to add Similarly, for the subtract, I have given an ID of subtract. And for the last one, I have given an ID of reset. That's it. Now we have access to all the elements that we need. Right? First, let's actually make, uh, when I click on this add button, let's actually increment the value of this count. So I can do that by saying add. On the add button, I will add an event listener and listen for the click. So when the user clicks, 
I will fire off this function. Inside the function, what I will do is I will target the count and inner HTML. Inner HTML means I am actually going to target this inner HTML and I will do plus plus. That means this 0 is going to be incremented by 1. And once I do that, I will up. Okay, let's see what happens over here. Alright, let's click on this. As you can see, 0 turns to 1 and again 2, 3, 4. As you can see, with the plus button is working now. But if I click on reset or subtract, it doesn't work, right? So similarly, what I will do is, for the sub, when I click on the sub button, this subtract button, I am going to reduce the value. I will say minus minus. Let's see, as you can see, now we have now our negative numbers. As you can see, this works perfectly, right? The final thing that is left now is the reset button. Alright, now let's work on that. I will copy this and paste it over here. When I click on the reset, what I need to do is, I want to set the uh, inner HTML, the value to 0. That's it. Now, again, if I increment and if I click on reset as you can see now now the count value is set to zero all right now we are done with incrementing and decrementing and our reset button now one final thing that is left now is changing colors guys if it is in positive the color should be green if it is in negative the color should be red and if it is in zero it, uh, it should remain uh, black color all right i'm going to create a separate function saying apply color this is going to be a function i am going to say here if count dot inner html is greater than zero if the count value is greater than zero you know what to do i want the count dot style basically i am targeting this count and targeting the style property i can apply the color property here and set it to green and I will set, I will actually say, uh, check another condition, else if, here I will say count dot inner HTML is less than zero, you know what to do. I want the color to be orange red, right? Here I will say orange red. If this condition doesn't satisfy, that means the count value is equal to zero. If it is not greater than zero, it is not less than zero. That means it is definitely equal to zero, right? So I will define an else case, and I will set the count size count dot style color to black. All right, that's it. Now, as you can see, it doesn't work yet. I need to call this function every time I increment. It's going to be apply color. over here and over here all right that's it as you can see now if it is in positive it's going to turn to green and if it is comes to negative it's going to be orange red color and if i set it to reset it's going to be black color all right guys as you can see we have built our counter app perfectly hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video and make sure please if you are new to this channel please make sure to subscribe to our channel and i make tutorials on front end web development and i also make lots and lots of javascript projects so please make sure to subscribe and also don't forget to smash that like button so i will see you in the next one thank you for watching mm -hmm.